My son Avionics and Vero. Um, so they installed the S Tech 62 with a yaw dampener, and then everything interfaces through the Garmin. So you do altitude and pre-select. Command that in here. This is the uh, new L3 ESI 500, and this actually will take the place of the CDI. So it will take uh, full glide slope and then lateral tracking as well. Uh -huh. It feeds over from the 7 uh, 650. These are the um, CGR 30Ps. They made a custom enunciator panel. Also added in the carbon uh, monoxide and uh, cabin altitude alert in here oh as well. Goodness. And then uh, these are the enunciators too if you want to go to your aux. So kind of cleaned up the cat eyes. Yeah. Streamlined everything. Uh, so you got the PS engineering there for the audio. Yeah, and this is the KT74. Uh, at the time, it was the Garmin didn't have their new transponder out, so this was it was a really good deal. Uh, I traded in the old transponder, so like the net difference is I think uh, twelve hundred bucks to go to okay. the eight percent squitter. So um, this has the uh, weather radar and storm scope and all that built in, so you can go here uh, and do standby, and then all your uh, radar also will display on your uh, weather page here uh, so you can put the radar in two different spots if you wanted to uh, outstanding storm scope x and weather wx 500 so there's it all and then this backs up and it has flight stream and all that stuff too <laughs> this is beautiful thank you hey what you know what i i kind of came up with the what components i wanted but the no, no joke the guys the biggest thing when you do these is you got to find a shop that does a lot of these these installs. Yeah. And these guys are the craftsmen. No, no joke. I mean, going through. And, and this is and at Vero of, Beach. Yeah, Vero Beach Avionics. They're, they're big on the meridians. They do a lot of the meridian conversions, so mm -hmm. they do probably, I'd say, conservatively ten to ten to twelve G five hundred retrofits a year. Uh, but you know, everything they cut out the panels. They have their own CNC machines. So, so you know, those guys were true artisans in what they did. I see. You've got a, a compass. Uh, you're yeah. At that as well. That thing's awesome. I got to tell you, the other one is a fixed compass card that just kind of floated here, which you know you can kind of see where it used to attach. Yeah. Um, but that thing's great. It's easy to read and it lights up and it's LED at night, so it's uh, it's a pretty sharp little little panel here. You really have uh, and the little electric this. glow here as well. So I'll do paint and interiors my next go around, and that uh, that'll complete the transformation. Well, you can certainly wait on that. I mean, these these is a seven. Maybe even an eight <laughs> on the interior. I'm already half pregnant with the panel. I may as well go to the full Monte. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. And uh, what's your name? My name is John. John is out of Vero Beach. Yep. And he's flying a 310R. What year? This is a 1975. 1975 310R that he's upgraded the panel on. And take a look. It is absolutely gorgeous. And the number one thing about the panel is it has it all integrated from the radar and full Garmin. And the odd king transponder. <laughs> <laughs> the stepchild here. Yeah, that's uh, right, the stepchild. He's got one man. stepchild out here, this uh, king transponder. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, John.